Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my all-in-one guide for the Herbalist Challenges from Red Dead Redemption 2. I say all-in-one, I will be referring you to another video for a couple of the challenges. The video is my All 43 Herbs location video. You'll need it mainly for challenges 6 and 9. Just a quick note, challenge 10 contains a post-story spoiler, so beware, you can't complete that challenge until you get to the epilogue anyway. As with all of the groups of challenges, you're going to need to fully complete a challenge before the next one will become available. All of the challenges involve finding or crafting with specific herbs. Completing the Herbalist Challenges is going to reward you with health XP amongst other things. The full list is in the description below. Also, if you wish to skip to a specific challenge, there are timestamps down there too. Right, let's get on with them. The first challenge is pick 6 Yarrow. This is really simple, Yarrow is common around Valentine. If you start heading south past Citadel Rock and down to Twin Stack Pass, you should see quite a few of them. Alternatively, you can go to the exact locations I'm showing in this video to find your six. Come on, pal. The second challenge is pick and eat four species of berry. Again, this is a very easy one if you know where to look. The four species of berry you're looking for are raspberry, winter green berry, blackberry and evergreen huckleberry. You just need to pick and eat one of each of these. As there are only four, I'll show you the exact locations in this video. Challenge number three is to craft seven items using sage as an ingredient. The sage the game is referring to is hummingbird sage. Oleander sage won't work for this. There are a few things you can craft like potent bitters, which is sage and burdock root, but I chose horse ointment, which is sage, common bulrush and yarrow. You should already have at least six yarrow from challenge one. If you need some more, you can find some in the field in front of the station at Valentine. Then, Hummingbird Sage and Common Bulrush can be found together north of Lagra in the area where it says Kamasa River on your map. The sage is all around the wooded area there, and bulrushes can be found by the river. Once you have seven of each ingredient, set up camp and craft seven horse ointment to complete the challenge. You may need to discard some ointment if you don't have enough bag space. The fourth challenge is pick five mushrooms and feed them to your horse. You can do this in the same area where we got the yarrow in the first challenge. There's enough mushrooms there. Pick five and feed them to your horse using the weapon wheel. Press R1 or RB to move to horse, then move to nine o'clock on the wheel and scroll to the mushroom. You sure are beauty. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Challenge 5 is to craft 9 items using Indian tobacco as an ingredient. Luckily Indian tobacco can be used on its own to craft potent snake oil. So you just need to find 9 Indian tobacco plants. It can be found in the area south of Valentine. If you go to the area I showed on the map there are 3 patches of 3 plants very close together. Once you have 9 set up camp and craft 9 potent snake oils. You'll probably have to use them as you make them if you don't have enough bag space. Challenge 6 is to pick 15 different species of herb. I'm going to refer you to my separate video for this one, all 43 herb locations. The link is in the description below. You can actually find 15 species very close to Valentine. If you start the video at 9.51 and follow it from there you should get 15 species very quickly without much travelling. The seventh challenge is craft and use 5 special miracle tonics. This one is a bit of a pain, it involves a lot of travelling and a lot of ingredients. First of all you need to obtain the special miracle tonic pamphlet so you can learn to craft it. You can either go to the location I'm showing you to find it or you can buy it from a fence after the mission a short walk in a pretty town. To craft one miracle tonic you need six yarrow, six burdock root and six currant so that's 30 of each to complete this challenge. That's a lot of back and forth as they can't be found together. Firstly burdock root can be found in great numbers along the Dakota River. Yarrow is found all around the heartlands southeast of Valentine. And finally, Golden Current. That's all over the wooded areas northwest of Ansberg. Try and collect 10 of each or as many as you can carry at a time. Craft a tonic, drink it, and then collect more and move on. It's going to take a while with the ingredients being so far apart, but you can use the coaches between the two towns, Valentine and Ansberg, to speed things up a bit. Challenge 8 is use Oleander to craft 6 poison weapons. You have two choices here, poison arrows or poison throwing knives. I chose the former as they are more useful. Firstly, you'll need six oleander sage. It grows mainly along the banks of the Kamasa River. If you're going to craft arrows, you'll need six flight feathers too, so kill some birds while you're there if you need them. So for the six poison arrows, you need six oleander sage, six flight feathers and six arrows. For the six poison throwing knives, you'll need six oleander sage and six throwing knives. You can buy those from a fence or a trapper. Craft six of one or a combination of the two to complete the challenge. The ninth and most time consuming challenge is pick one of each species of herb. There are 43 in total and the game only tracks the number not which ones you've picked. So check your progress after picking each one by pressing right on the d-pad and going to challenges. Also make a list and tick them off, you don't want to miss one and not know which one it was. Like challenge 6 I'm going to refer you to this video's sister video, all 43 herb locations. The link is in the description below. This video would have been way too long if I'd have included them here. You will need to reach the epilogue to collect the final six, they are in New Austin. The tenth and final challenge is season and cook all eleven types of meat. Firstly, the three seasons you can use are thyme, oregano or mint. All three of these can be found in abundance around Valentine. 
I'm going to group the meats together in the locations you can find them. First off, go and see a butcher, he'll sell you pork, prime beef and venison. Go and see the one in Valentine, that way you can get the plump bird and mutton at the same time. Go to the animal market in Valentine, you'll find sheep and chickens there. Now don't shoot them, the locals will report you. Instead, run over them with your horse to kill them, then skin them. For some reason, they don't mind that. Next is succulent fish and flaky fish. You can get both of these on the northeast shore of Flat Iron Lake. Succulent fish comes from salmon and trout, while flaky fish comes from pickerel, perch, bass, muskie, sturgeon or pike. You should find trout and bass in this location. Next, crustacean, that comes from crabs and they can only be found in one place, the island just west of Clemens Point. You should find a kayak round about where you caught the fish. Just run around the lake until you find one, John can't swim at all. Next is game, this comes from ducks, pheasants and rabbits. There's no shortage of ducks and rabbits in this game, so you should find one of those easily enough. After that is big game, you get this from alligators, bears, cougars, panthers or wolves. The easiest to find is alligators, they are all around the bayou. Lastly is exotic bird, this comes from parakeets or pelicans. I found pelicans easiest to find, you can spot them along the shoreline at the eastern part of Blackwater. Once you have your selection of 11 meats, set up camp and get cooking. When choosing your meat, make sure you press left or right on the d-pad to choose a herb as well. Cook each one to complete the challenge. You can check your progress by pressing right on the d-pad and choosing challenges. And that's it, I hope this video helped. If you need help with any other challenges from Red Dead Redemption 2, I have a video like this one for each group of challenges. Like and subscribe, it will help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.